Hi, welcome to Genetics 5, all about protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is building a protein. We are going to take all of the information we've learned thus far and put it together to build a finished product, a final protein. The keywords for today are translation, transcription, tRNA, and codon. Before we go too far, it's worthwhile to review a little bit of how DNA base pairs and how it base pairs to RNA. So here's DNA. Let's make a list of our base pairs. Our bases are A, T, C, and G. In DNA, A always pairs to T, T always pairs to A, C to G, and G to C. If we are gonna do RNA, now remember RNA is going to be our helper to carry the genetic code from the nucleus out to the ribosome. The base pairing is pretty similar, but there's one difference. A matches not to T, but instead to U. That's a big difference. All the rest is the same. T matches with A, C with G, and, C, and G with C. Now that we've gotten that little review out of the way, let's head off to the cell. This is uh, hopefully familiar territory to you. This is part of the nucleus, and we have a small sample of DNA that we're gonna take a look at. All of this is nucleus. Outside of the nucleus is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the juice of the cell, and here is a ribosome written in green. Ribosomes are the protein builders. Our mission is to take the information from DNA, transfer it to the ribosome, and the ribosome will then make a finished protein from the code. This hopefully is familiar to you. It is DNA and the base pairs are there, A with T and C with G. Our first step is going to be to remove one side of DNA so that we can make a copy of the code. There it goes. Now I'm gonna bring in my mRNA. mRNA is built by base pairing with the DNA template, which is right here. You're gonna use the base pairing rule to do that, and here it is. A matches with U, T with A, C with G, and G with C, all the way down the line. This process of making mRNA from the DNA template is called transcription. Transcription is copying over the message from DNA to mRNA, but it can't be used here. The mRNA is then transferred out to the ribosome. And at the ribosome, the ribosome is going to take that mRNA and use it to build a final protein. The process of building a protein out at the ribosome from the mRNA is called translation. Translation because you're going from the code or language of bases into the language of amino acids and proteins. We're about ready to begin. We have our code. If you notice, this is exactly the same molecule. I just flipped it onto its side and the code has remained the same. When we read mRNA, the way to read it, the way your cell reads it, is in what are called codons or groups of three. So here is one codon, it's a group of one, two, three bases. And here's our second codon, one, two, three bases. A usual string of mRNA would have thousands of codons, but to make things simple, we're just gonna focus on two. We need a little bit of help though. We can't build a protein without the ingredients. The ingredients are amino acids, but amino acids don't come alone. They need helpers to carry them in and put them in place based on our code. Those helpers are called tRNA. Let's take a look. So down here, I'm just gonna label this. These are our two tRNAs. There are actually quite a few different kinds of tRNA. This is just two, because we've only got two codons, and I'll try to simplify it. The tRNA part of it is the blue backbone and three bases. You'll notice that those three bases are written in RNA language. They contain a U. The dark shapes that are attached to those tRNAs are the amino acids. So I'm just gonna do a quick label. This is the amino acid, and this part up here is the tRNA. The tRNA is just a carrier. It's gonna carry our amino acid up to the ribosome and put it in place where it belongs based on the mRNA code. 
Let's see how this is all going to happen. The tRNA can move. This tRNA has the brown amino acid, and it has the letters A, U, C. It's going to find its place by looking for the complementary or matching bases for A, U, C. So it's going to look for a codon that matches. Well, in RNA language, A matches with U, U matches with A, and C matches with G. So let's find that. Let's move it up. Notice I found my matches. It's perfectly located, and it's going to deliver the amino acid. Our next codon reads CCA. So we need to find the complementary tRNA that would match to that. Here it is. Let's move it into place. The C's are matching with G's, and the A is matching with U. Good. At this point, what we want to do is then bond our amino acids. And what we'll do is we'll make a bond there. That's actually called a peptide bond. What we have right here is a very, very short protein. Okay, a protein would usually be thousands of amino acids long, but we've got two, and that's the start of a protein at least. tRNA has now done its job. So when we are done with tRNA, it can go and leave. So let's take this tRNA and let's move it out of the way. Let's grab our other tRNA and let's move that one out of the way. We now have a small budding protein here that will then continue to grow if there were more codons to be translated. And these tRNAs are free to pick up new amino acids. Uh, they would pick up the brown and blue one respectively because they always match. Each particular codon codes for a particular amino acid. In our next video, we'll, I'll show you the chart that we use to figure out which codon goes with which amino acid. But for right now, you just need to know that they figure it out by the base pairing rule. We have now copied our message into mRNA, that's called transcription, moved it out to the ribosome and used it with the help of some tRNAs to build a small protein. That process is called translation, going from the mRNA to the protein. To review, transcription is the, is the process of copying over the DNA message into RNA. Translation is taking that mRNA at the ribosome and building the protein from it. tRNAs were a new thing we added and they are the helpers that carry the amino acid to the ribosome to build the proteins, and a codon. A codon is a group of three bases on mRNA that helps determine which amino acid should be placed in that location.